G'day. My name is Will Shackle and I'm a 17 year old nuclear energy advocate from Down Under. As you can currently see, I'm at COP28 in Dubai and today uh, concludes the first day of COP28 on December 1st. A lot has happened today. Basically, I flew in, I arrived at 5.30 a.m. this morning and we headed straight to Expo City where COP28 is being held this year. I'm specifically helping out with Nuclear for Climate, which is an organisation which brings together advocates from around the world to uh, basically support the peaceful use of nuclear energy to provide a form of clean, reliable power to help the world reach net zero. And specifically, uh, Nuclear for Climate is calling for a tripling of nuclear energy capacity by 2050. So I've been helping out at their pavilion today. I've been doing a few other things, obviously filming a bit of content. I interviewed the Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency, who actually visited uh, Australia recently. So he is very much aware of the unique capability Australia has when it comes to nuclear energy. Other interesting things I did today, uh, besides from meeting lots of really, really incredible people, is I ac actually um, also saw Michael Bloomberg for a second. Um, I didn't get a chance to record an interview with him, but I saw Michael Bloomberg. He's actually supportive of nuclear energy. And actually right before recording this video, I spotted the Turkish president who, and Turkey is a country which is actually going nuclear themselves. So a lot is happening at COP. I actually also woke up to the fantastic news that we've reached 4,000 signatures on our petition. So thank you to everyone who has signed and shared our petition. I'm going to close by giving you a final look at COP. It's approaching evening. There's an awards ceremony going on in the big dome behind me. You can see there are a lot of people here. Um, and if I flip you around, you can see the exit and all of the different flags of all of the different countries who are represented here. The media who have their studios there in this incredible building. But yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for your support. Without your support, without all of the individual contributions each of you made, none of this would be possible. And I wouldn't have this opportunity on the global stage to advocate for nuclear energy. Hopefully, we're going to see a lot happen over the next few days at COP. There's a major announcement coming tomorrow from the US, we've been told, so I'll make sure to cover that. But it looks like nuclear energy is going to have its moment at this COP.